Today we're talking to three BEAHS students. Nick, Kyle, and Dylan. What grades are you guys in? Uh, I'm a senior, which is 12th grade. I'm a junior, so 11th grade. I'm also a senior, 12th grade. Alright, so you guys have been around a while. Uh, I suppose if you want to say that. What is your guys' favorite class? Econ because it was easy to understand and, I don't know, didn't really get homework. Who was the teacher for that? Uh, Mr. Strukel. He's, he's, he's new this year. You like him? Yeah, he's, he's a good teacher. Pretty funny. Yeah, my favorite class is uh, World Cultures again. Pretty easy class, like teacher. Fun. Nee Nobber, he's new this year, right? Yep. Mine is probably Art Foundations because you basically didn't have to do anything and still got a good grade. What year did you take that? I took that in 10th grade. Nothing's beat it since? No. no. Not by a long shot. Um, least favorite class? It's sociology because I don't really get what's going on with like the subject and everything. Kind of getting a bad grade. What is sociology? Uh, I think it's like the study of like society and like how the citizens like react with each other. I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. My least favorite class would be chemistry. Don't really know what the heck we're doing. What about the teacher in that class? Why does he have anything to do with? A little bit. We kind of kind of clash heads a little bit, so. Uh, my least favorite is probably uh, algebra because I'm not very good at math and the teacher wasn't very good. She's really old. Who was that? Uh, that was Rusted Huseman. Oh. Yeah. She's not here this year. No. Thank God. <laughs> Worst memory of high school? Oh, well, I was at lunch. And we had yogurt that day. Mm. I had a spoonful. Always good. Oh yeah, it was really good until it dropped in my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do after it dropped on your crotch? Uh, I went to the bathroom, cleaned it off. And then it looked like you had a wet spot there? Yeah, it was a little wet. Didn't like it. Uh, most embarrassing moment? Um, well, in elementary, when I was young, oh, boy. Uh, we had birthday cards, you know, you drew up and you gave them to people on their birthdays. Approximately how old? Uh, I'd say about nine I was maybe. And uh, a little guy. Yeah, I was just a little, little squirt. And um, well, it was this one kid's birthday. So I decided to draw a middle finger in his birthday card. So at that time, did you know what the middle finger meant? No, um, I actually thought it meant like Hello, or something good, not like a wave. Yeah, like a wave, but so you well, waved at people like with your yeah. I thing? I used to yes. Hmm. Did you get in trouble for this? Yes, uh, I had to talk to the principal, Mr. Grant, at that time, and he was pretty scary for being nine years old. <sighs> well, um, did you get detention or a call hmm. from the parent? Uh, I think it was just a call to the parent, but that was about it. I got pretty lucky. It's gonna be pretty hard to top. Oh, yeah. For me, it'd be in the middle of class, teachers teaching, and then getting up, turning around, and just throwing up all over the back of the room. Uh, did you throw up on anyone? There might have been somebody in there. Oh, so you didn't even make it to the garbage? No. I was a few feet away from that yet. Before or after lunch? Before. That's probably a good thing. Yeah. On the bright side, you got to go home, though. That's true. My most embarrassing moment was at the end of the day, I looked down at my pants and noticed my zipper was down. And it must have been down most of the day because, you know, I hadn't went to the bathroom anytime soon. Mm. So, yeah, it wasn't a very good day. Some friends you have letting you walk around all day. Yeah, they didn't. Zipper like down. They didn't let me know that the cows were getting out, so... <laughs> the whole barn got out, not just the cows. 
All right, here's a big question. Have you guys gotten in any trouble oh. during high school? Um, I don't know, it was last year or year before, Mr. Schneider thought me and some friends were throwing uh, drumsticks in the ceiling of the band room. And I don't, that was not true. So he was, he was doing a little, little tinkering around trying to get us in trouble. Now why would you be doing that, Mr. Schneider? Uh, we weren't, so it wasn't us. So who was it? Did they ever I, find the culprit? No, they never knew. Is there a ghost? Yeah, I think there's a ghost in our school. Hmm. I don't know, well if you take it and call down the office 12 times to talk to the principal, getting in trouble, and yeah, I probably did. Hmm. What are some examples of why you had to go down there? Well, you see, I, I was running a little late one day, and the, my truck kind of got parked sideways in a couple handicapped spots. That'll happen. Yeah, and then uh, I think somebody put a Confederate flag on my truck. I kind of got in trouble for that one day. Someone yeah. else did that? No, I, I think I did that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 12 times and a quarter. I don't think many people can beat that. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, the only time I got in trouble was I got caught speeding in the school parking lot. They gave me a ticket for that. Yeah, a ticket? Yeah. Who caught you? Oh, uh, Miss Bullerman. They got the school guy? Yeah. Got? He got me good. Gotcha? Yeah. Stuck it to you. Man. How fast were you going? Uh, over 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Uh, yeah. We'll do.